My name is Andrew and I'm seven years old and I want to know how the volcano of Pompeii showed up. Hi, my name is Clifford Thurber. I'm a professor of geophysics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I study both earthquakes and volcanoes. One aspect of studying volcanoes that's uh, very interesting to me is that vol volcanologists actually use earthquakes as one way to try to predict their eruptions. Uh, so most volcanoes, as uh, sort of a preparation for erupting, uh, fracturing happens inside the earth while magma tries to move towards the surface. And as a result, earthquakes are produced and we can use that to actually track the movement of magma inside before it erupts at the surface. Uh, so the volcanoes that are occurring in this cascade chain up in Washington and Oregon are of a type called a stratovolcano. And sometimes they erupt explosively, sometimes they have lava just flow out on the surface. And so they have this sort of layer cake character to them. Uh, the island of Hawaii is very different in terms of it's basically almost completely built by flow after flow after flow. So many, many lava flows over thousands and millions of years build up the island uh, very slowly without generally ca ca catastrophic eruptions. And so Vesuvius is of the former type. It's a stratovolcano. Sometimes it just has lava flows that build up uh, the size of the volcano, but sometimes, like in 79 AD, it erupts explosively, produces large volumes of ash, and that's what buried the town of Pompeii uh, and killed many people in the process. Uh, its basic origin is due to the fact that Africa is drifting northwards and actually colliding with Europe. And that's producing a very small subduction zone in southern Italy, producing a number of volcanoes that are active there. 